Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but it sure is great to be back. The boxer's side to side jump. That is the subject of today's tutorial video by popular request. I've received a lot of questions about this move asking, could I make a video to make it easy to learn? So that's the purpose of this video. I'm going to try to simplify this move. I'm going to show you mostly slow motion footage. I'm going to show you footage from the front, from the side, and I'm also going to show you a technique to make this move easier to understand and easier to execute. So I really hope you find this helpful. Let's get started. This picture, which is actually a screenshot of a video, which we'll get back to in a few minutes, you can see my feet and I've placed two pieces of tape on the ground at slight angles. This is a method which we'll see in a few minutes to really help understand this move and be able to execute it well. But first, let's take a look at the boxer's side to side skip from a side view and then a front view. So I'm going to stay quiet for a few seconds while you can observe the move yourselves and then I'll point out a few things. Okay, so it's called the boxer side to side skip because you're not jumping up and down but rather you're jumping from side to side. The second thing I want you to notice is that when the feet land on the ground, they're not landing exactly parallel to each other. Rather, one foot is landing slightly forward, while the other is landing to the rear. So, for example, right now the left foot is going to be forward, while the right foot is to the rear. Now they're going to alternate. The right is going to go forward, the left is to the rear. Now the left is forward, the right is to the rear. Okay, so this will all become more clear in just a minute. Let's take a look at this move now from a front view. So here from a front view, we will be able to see that one foot lands on the ground before the other. So notice the rear foot. In this case, my right foot lands on the ground after the left foot. Now it's going to be the opposite now. The right foot will land on the ground first, it moves forward at a slight angle, while the left foot lands on the ground a fraction of a second afterwards. Now we're going to do the opposite. The left foot will move out forward at a slight angle, while the right foot moves to the rear at a slight angle. And this will all become more clear in just a minute when I show you the picture of the tape and the video that goes along with the picture of the tape. So the rear foot, the right foot now, is going to go to the front at a slight angle. It's going to land on the ground first. So that right foot is going to support most of the body weight. The left foot, which is in the rear now, is going to be a support. And now the opposite. The left foot is going to land on the ground first. It's going to support most of the body weight. The right foot, which is going to be slightly to the rear, is going to be like a support. So notice here that the rear foot, the foot in the rear, because it's just a support, not as much surface area of the sole of the foot or the sole of the shoe makes contact with the ground. The foot which lands on the ground first, the toes and the balls of the feet, more area of the sole of the foot makes contact with the ground. But the foot in the rear, only the toes and a small part of the balls of the feet, a small part of the front of the sole of the shoe makes contact with the ground because it's only support. We're only gently touching the ground with the rear foot. The foot which lands on the ground first here, the right foot, more of the sole of the shoe touches the ground. It's supporting most of our weight. The left foot is acting as support there. And now the opposite.
Okay, so now back to the picture of the tape. And together with the video, which we're going to see right now, looking down at my feet, we will clearly be able to observe the footwork motion of the boxer's side-to-side -side skip. We will see that that one foot moves slightly forward while the other moves slightly to the rear. And notice that the rear foot basically lands where the two pieces of tape meet. Okay, so the right foot just landed there on the ground where basically the two pieces of tape meet in the center. Now the right foot is going to move out at a slight angle. The left foot is going to take its place. Now we're going to jump from right to left. So basically the right foot is going to push off the ground. Most of the work is going to be done by the foot on the outside. It's going to push off the ground. The other foot will leave the ground first, land on the ground first. We're going to go from left to right. The left foot will do most of the pushing. So push off the ground. The right foot will leave first, land on the ground first. The left will take its place in the center. Now we're going from right to left. The right foot will do most of the pushing. Most of the force will come from the right foot. The left foot will leave the ground first. Move out slightly forward at an angle, the right foot will take its place. And we just repeat that. So we're moving our feet in a type of di like a diamond-like motion. I have two pieces of tape, they join together in the center and they move out at slight angles. The angles represent the motion of the feet. Okay, so just one last thing about the boxer side-to-side -side skip. As you might recall, during the video I said that the rear foot is mostly support. The foot that is landing on the ground first is going to absorb most of the body weight, and the foot that is landing on the ground foot first is going to use the most force to push the body from one side to the other. The rear foot, it lands on the ground, and it slightly cushions the body weight. And because it's only used as a cushion or support, less surface area of the sole of the shoe or the sole of the foot is going to make contact with the ground. So the rear foot, less of the toes and balls of the feet are going to make contact with the ground, whereas the foot that is landing on the ground, more surface area of the sole, more toe and ball of the foot area is going to make contact with the ground. So a lot of boxers when they perform the boxer side to side skip, the rear foot will stay at a slight angle higher than the foot that is landing on the ground first. So as you can see here in this footage, the rear foot, the heel of the foot is raised more off the ground. Less of the sole of that foot is touching the ground because it's just used as support. Mostly the toes, less of the balls of the foot, foot area are making contact with the ground. The foot that is landing on the ground first will absorb most of the body weight. Therefore, more of the toes and balls of the feet, more of the sole of the shoe, will make contact with the ground. Well, there you are. That is the boxer's side-to-side -side skip. It's a fantastic jump rope move to incorporate into your jump rope workout workouts. It looks cool, and it's a lot of fun to perform. Okay, well, I really hope you found this video helpful, and I uh, hope to see you all again soon.